it up the left side. Send this pass up to Charles Leo. Leo walks in, cuts to the center. He's gonna drop it through McFarland. McFarland waits, shoots, and he scores! Christopher McFarland of a nice little drop pass from Charles Leo. Shot is gonna be picked off by a DVC defender. Now here comes defender in on the breakaway, shoots. Just barely saved. Hey, this ice is gonna get chewed up too. We're gonna have to see if any funny bounces happen. Oh, Hallworth tries to clear this away. It's gonna be deflected. Somehow, this stays out. Unbelievable save by Hallworth. Freeze, holds. He takes a shot and a big glove save by Spoonenberg. Go up top to Garrett Catches. All the way up across. Deflection in front, picked up. DVCHC a shot, and he scores! Somehow that puck finds the back of the net off that backhand. So DVCHC tries to get something going here. It's gonna be Freeze with it. Freeze tries to find a man in front. Big save by Spoonenberg. And you're gonna find the back of the net. Empire's saying the net's off. The refs are saying the net came off beforehand. This one all the way across to Sweeney. Sweeney across, shot, and a goal by number 17, Garrett Silverman on a beautiful passing play from Empire. Blaney. That one's gonna be put in the back of the net. Goal by number 24, John Cernero. A lot of familiar faces playing with one another. Most of this team comes from Fordham University. Shot again, big save by Hallworth, once again able to corral it when it looked like Empire, another wide open net, Hallworth able to jump on top of it. Manicor on the boards as he loses it. Picked up. Stansbury goes down. Big shot by number 13, Charles Leo. That's going to be saved. And his stick. It's a yard sale out there. Here comes Cernero. Cernero, two on one. He's got Michael Hatch with him down the left side. He holds, he holds. Makes a move. And another save by Stone Hallworth. Hallworth coming up big so far this game. It's almost like Howworth at this point, because my word. And here comes DVCHC, but it's kept at the line by Silverman. Silverman to DeMario. And it's buried by Sean Blaney. Sean Blaney makes this a two-goal game. Burt will take it at the line. He's going to give this one to Fratarelli. Fratarelli shot just barely sneaks inside the left post. 13, here comes Charles Leo. Charles Leo, shot, that one's going to go off the blocker. Another shot, a save by Hallworth. Corcoran, he's going to take it up the middle. That one's going to be poked away. Yonkers is going to pick it up. Yonkers on a bit of a breakaway here. He shoots off the blocker and he scores. Chris Yonkers, he scores. BCHC all over him. But here comes DeMario. DeMario's going to go all the way across to Yonkers. Yonkers, he's got room. He shoots and he scores. Chris Yonkers, his second in a row, puts it right in the top left corner. What a goal by Chris Yonkers. This one up. Makes a nice little move is Leo. Leo coming down the left side with space. He holds, he shoots, and that one's saved by Hallworth. Gets this one up. Now here comes Cameron Moore. Cameron Moore, two on one. He's got Lawfer with him. He holds, he shoots. Goal by Cameron Moore of Penn State Harrisburg. In Empire Purple. Selects are going to take this first game of the tournament, seven to three. So we're gonna send it down now for an on-ice interview with the coach and player from Empire. Hello, I'm Siobhan Nolan coming to you live from the Collegiate Hockey Federation. We are here with the winning team from Empire who just completely routed this game 7-2. to So you guys had a really good first half. Um, you were leading in shots and in points. Second half you really exploded. So what happened in the locker room to make you guys come out ahead so strongly in the second half? Yeah, so in the locker room um, during the intermission, we just told the guys, you know, hey, just uh, keep it simple, get pucks to the net, drive the net, and um, good things will happen. And I think that we started getting a lot more offensive zone time, and then it started building, like, we, we started getting more momentum and confidence, and we started putting together a couple shifts in their zone, and uh, we started trapping them, and we just get pucks to the net, and, uh, yeah, we, we buried a few. A very cohesive team, working very well together. So from a coaching perspective, what was the biggest strength of the team in this game? So this is kind of hard because it's a showcase. So it's a, a couple of players that are just kind of playing together. So 
for our first game, I thought um, we were kind of like a little out of position um, in the first period. And then we started coming to a little bit in the second period as the guys started building chemistry with each other. Um, but the key in this, showcase is, in, in this showcase is we all have talent. The players have talent. Um, but it's about working together and finding the right line combinations. And I think we did that. And, you know, first game of this tournament for you guys. So what do you want to keep in mind going forward? Uh, I mean, just getting to know everyone on the bench, talking out there and moving the puck. I mean, Nick said it from the beginning. You've got you to gotta run a system down there. You've got to know where everyone is and you've got to talk. So. That's really what you keep doing and get to know everyone better in the locker room. Yep. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for coming out for this interview, and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to Scoring from throughout every lineup will be paramount. Three-on-one opportunity created here by the Empire Selects. Great save on the cross-ice pass as A.J. White slid across to rob the opportunity from Drew Russo. Picking it up for Buffalo. Gets it to Brooks or Baker at the blue line. Then Baker does a good job to keep it in as he had two different men on him. Borgna gets in the way, though, and he starts to break out himself with a long pass up to Ed Scriven. Scriven across the blue line. Shot in on goal. Blocker saved by White. Rebound sitting there briefly. Scriven with a second opportunity. White grabbed that one with the glove, though. Shot taken from the point. That goes high and wide from Jason Vent. That shot comes in from the point. Rebound out in front. Buried home by Matt Ferrari, and we've got our game's first goal. It was a puck that came out in front real quickly. Matt Ferrari was at the right place in the at the right time. And he hits a body, and then Mitch Thornton picks it up. Cross ice to John Glasgow. Nice move across on the defenseman. Let's the shot go, but that one goes just wide. Hyde with a chance to get it out. Gets it into the neutral zone. Finds the puck again and takes a hit right at the red line. Has to circle back and find Ryan Hahn. Hahn and Miller play catch with it. Now Miller through the neutral zone, fakes a shot, tries to go around the defenseman, feeds it in front, shot and a goal! Ryan Miller with a great move to get himself free of the defenseman, slid it in on goal, got through the goaltender's legs. I'm not sure if he ended up being the one to put it home or if another teammate slid in to bury it. Either way, the Buffalo Bengals are on the board and it's a 1-1 hockey game. Actually doing so is Hendrickson. He gets around the defenseman, carries it into the zone. Another good move, chance from down low. Can't get the shot in on goal as Hendrickson with a great opportunity and then a shot taken from a hard angle. That one goes in by Anthony Kusich and it's a 2-1 hockey game for the Empires. Bengals Joe Krasinski there pleading the case just before they, they gathered to talk about that. And he's got a valid argument. I was watching the winger down the left and we don't have the technology to throw up an instant replay for the refs. Although we are catching it on camera. No oh. goal and they've waved it off. And look at that. Feeds it up into the neutral zone. Empire Select team breaking it in across the blue line. Keeping it on the play is Kusic. Across to Brisgornia. His shot goes through traffic. Deflected twice. In and front. Shot and a goal. Great opportunity in front as the pass was slid across and buried there by number 23, Steve Falgu. To Vaughn. Vaughn goes cross ice. Now good passing being set up here on the play. Cross ice pass. Good interception there as that one was wide open. But then it comes bouncing back out in front and Ed Scriven bangs it home. It's now a 3 1 hockey game. Puck comes out in front quickly there. Almost came out to Cho. Would have had a nice look from the low slot in front of the net. Then a bouncing puck in on goal. Deflected late on the play by Colacathis. Newman tried to get it back out in front, unable to find anyone there, but an errant pass comes over to Swatcha again. Swatcha then letting a shot go, and he beats the goaltender glove side. The Bengals are back in this one. It's now a 3-2 hockey game. And lead. Bengals charging back, though. Has now an opportunity on the counter play as it's being carried in by Hendrickson. Hendrickson with a point-blank shot. Another nice save by A.J. White. Across to Lotempio, and Brisgornia comes back the other way. Good pass down low, Ferrari shot. From just to the left of the net, point blank shot from the low slot. Another solid save made by A.J. White on that play. Swatcha looking to counter now for the Bengals. 25 seconds in the man advantage. Swatcha stops at the near point, gets it back to the point to Glasgow. Glasgow down low, quick shot in on net. Mil uh, Newman with a shot there from down low. Now a rebound opportunity from Brennan. Can't get it past the goaltender, Dalton. And we'll wait and see exactly what the Buffalo plan here is to bring him out of the net. Schultz taking a shot, though an opportunity in front, and we got ourselves a tie game now as the puck came out to Elliott Hunt. He found control of it and then fired in the top of the net. It's now 3-3 as the Bengals get a big power play goal to knock things up here. So that's why White didn't come out to the top of the circles. He, he knew. He had a feeling. And with three seconds to go, that's going to do things for regulation. And my information was correct. This game is going to end in a tie, folks. 
And then there are also some congratulations and fist bumps and handshakes for a well-played game. You like to see that. Everybody with a smile on their face. That just tells you they're excited to be back out here.